This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Here's what's making headlines today. It is primary election day in Florida, where voter turnout has been higher than previous years due to vote by mail and early voting. And polls are open until 7 o'clock tonight. Here's what you need to know. Florida is a closed primary state, which means only registered voters with a political party may vote in that party's primary election. But there are some nonpartisan races on the ballot. Remember to bring a photo ID and vote at your designated precinct. As long as voters are in line at their designated polling place, by 7 p.m., they will still be allowed to vote regardless of the length of the line. Electronic Arts, the makers of the video game Madden, has announced that it's canceling the remaining three Madden Classic qualifier events following the deadly shooting in Jacksonville. The CEO says the company will run a comprehensive review of safety protocols. Meantime, we're learning more about the gunman's troubled state of mind. CBS News has learned that as a teenager, the suspected gunman had a history of mental illness. Investigators say he had just been eliminated from the Madden football video game competition when he opened fire on other players. The live stream of Sunday's event shows what appears to be a red laser aimed at 22-year-old Elijah Clayton, then gunfire. Clayton and 28-year-old Taylor Robertson were killed. That Ten other people were wounded in the shooting. Thousands are in Detroit, Michigan today to pay respects to the Queen of Soul. A visitation is happening today and tomorrow for Aretha Franklin at the Charles Wright Museum of African American History. Franklin's funeral service is set for Friday and will be limited to family, friends, and special guests. An all-star lineup will perform, including artists like Stevie Wonder, Faith Hill, and Jennifer Hudson. It's still summer, but several states are facing this extreme heat. But tell that to residents of parts of Montana where this is happening. Some high elevations and Glacier National Park are seeing winter-like scenes like this one. In fact, winter weather advisories were issued by the National Weather Service for parts of Montana and Wyoming. Now, CBS4 weather. Weather-wise, pretty unsettled today. A little bit of extra moisture in the air and also just a weak disturbance moving across the area. So we've seen periods of showers and thunderstorms, but that should give way to a little more sun tomorrow. The ocean breeze continues and right to the end of the week, mainly nighttime and some morning showers and thunderstorms. But as we get into the Labor Day weekend, Saturday is looking good, but look what heads our way on Sunday. A pretty wet looking tropical wave that arrives on Sunday and lasts through Monday. So I think if you have holiday plans, shoot for Saturday because Sunday and Monday could be in jeopardy. In terms of the forecast, it looks like this. A little more sunshine for your Wednesday. Summer breeze and highs right around 90. Overnight lows in the upper 70s, mainly nighttime and morning thunderstorms, otherwise quick showers. On Sunday, passing storms and storms could be heavy as well for Monday. And that's a look at your weather. And that's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.